This is WNEP's Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Join us for streamside adventures. Days in the field with new and old friends. It's all about making memories and following traditions. And exciting hunting experiences with interesting people. We've captured the beauty and majesty of the great outdoors. And it's all next on Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Hello everyone and welcome to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. I'm Don Jacobs in the Pennsylvania Outdoor Life cabin. You know, the bass season, we're one week into the bass season. A lot of bass fishing to do. The lakes are really up and going. The rivers got started producing bass already. So we decided to invite a friend of Pennsylvania Outdoor Life, George Bowers, to take us fishing. We said, take us on a lake we haven't been with you. And that is Lake Cary in Wyoming County. We're at uh, Lake Cary up in uh, Tunkhannock, Wyoming County. Um, it's a great lake to come to. A lot of fish in here, uh, all, all different species. They get a lot of walleyes out of here. Today we're going to focus on the small mounts and the large mounts right now. And uh, it, cold front came in last night. Uh, it's 40 degrees and the wind's blowing about 20, 20 knots right now. So when you're talking about fishing a lake like this and you're, you're going to attack it, what lures do you like to use? Yeah, well, I start off with some basic ones. So right here, right now, I have a, a octopus hook and a cinco, a four-inch cinco. And basically what we're going to do, we're going to start off wacky style. We take that uh, cinco and we go through it and that's it. And that's as plain and simple as possible. Yeah, it's almost like a do-nothing uh, bait, it's right. called. You basically throw it out and it will shimmer. You can see as it shimmers going down, and it, it's a deadly bait. I don't see any split shot, I don't see anything. Nope, just straight line with the lure. The weight of the uh, Cinco will, will allow it to sink. Now, what other baits have you chosen for us to kick around with today? Yeah, so we're gonna, also we're gonna throw a Ned rig. Okay. Uh, this Ned rig is uh, a weedless one. Um, actually, the, it, the uh, head on this lure came from uh, leading edge baits okay. that I uh, got from. And then uh, we just put the Ned rig on and we just stick the edge of the hook into the worm a little, little bit and it goes in and it'll be on the bottom. The hair on this will flutter a little bit or I think gives a little extra attractive. I was just gonna say, George, I don't think I've ever seen a, a plastic bug with hair, that new, is that a new thing? Uh, no, it's, it's been out um, on the market for a while, but it's almost like uh, fishing a hair jig, which is very, very good to use also. But um, this goes in and bounces on the bottom and that hair moves around a little bit, gives it that uh, attractant that the, the fish like. So you do bounce it off? Yep. Get stuck a lot probably? Uh, you do sometimes, yep. You just, uh, you know, we're fishing with a lighter head. This is a uh, uh, eighth ounce head on here and it's an offset hook, so uh, the hook isn't gonna get caught anything, but the head might. Yeah. Another lure we're gonna use today is a swim bait, okay. a Kia Tech swim bait. And basically we're gonna throw this out, let it go to the bottom, and we're gonna bring it back in, and it resembles a fish. Now we're fishing this on a uh, uh, eighth ounce head also, um, and this is a very good lure. This is a Kia Tech. I fish this all year long right. in there. Uh, resembles a minnow in the water, this one. Actually, this one here is a small mouth magic there you color go. right there. There you go. So George, tell us how you're gonna fish with that uh, Cinco bait that you got there. Yeah, so the Cinco, we're just gonna basically throw it out to shore, let it sink down. We're gonna lift it up once or twice and then reel it back in. It really is a simple way of fishing. Yes. Now, how much do you use your electronics? Uh, yeah, I use my electronics a lot. Um, I just got a new Garmin on this boat, and uh, I'm still working with that there. It's pretty neat, the new Garmin shows you the, uh, actually shows you fish in the water, and shows you the structure, it actually see, you can see your bait coming back towards you. <laughs> it's pretty amazing, it's almost like a video game. At one point, does that make it just too easy? Yeah. <laughs> Then I'm looking on the other screen here. Uh, the temperature is now 62.7 degrees. Uh, we're in about three feet of water here. We're just throwing up at some docks and that. I'll get the boat uh, positioned so 
Do you get a throw at the dock here, Don? Okay. Talk about it. <laughs> the first fish is <laughs> as big as the bait. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. I'm not even going to say we broke the ice, George. No, no. I'm embarrassed by this. <laughs> this is our first fish of the day right here. Look at that. All right, send mom and dad over. The water is real stained now. I don't know because of the rain, um, but uh, it, it's stained quite a bit right now. So if it's stained, usually the fish will go up closer to shore. Um, I fish a lot of like, you can see where the uh, outlet of a storm drain is there. So where that drain is there, that will wash out a little bit, and I'll give you a diff different depth change where the bass uh, may hang out there. Gotcha. Here's one here. You got one? Yeah. Cinco. Decent one. Well, that's a nice fish. Yeah. That's a nice fish. What did that? What was that on? Uh, the Cinco, the wacky rig. No kidding. You see how we eat it there? That's a beautiful fish, my. Yeah. And again, you just throw that out and let it do its thing, right? Yep. Called do nothing. Good job, buddy. And what I do is I just go down the shoreline, you know, I'll hit the docks. If there's any weeds in the water, uh, any rocks, I'll throw towards them. Uh, this time of the year, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to catch them, you know. As the summer comes uh, out, uh, you know, smallies will pull out into the outside of the weed beds they could be on the outside points. And then, uh, you know, largemouths are, they hang around, you know, still hang around the docks in the weeds. If there's wood there, there's usually, there's usually a largemouth around. Yeah, I definitely think the cold front shut them down here. Here's, one. Here's another, another fish on? Yep. Maybe we'll have to tie a Cinco on for you, John. That's or, a bent that, rod right there too. Yeah. Look at this, on the Cinco. color matter of those? No, not really. I use a lot of natural colors. Uh, but uh, this one here is, uh, I think is a smallmouth mag uh, magic. Beautiful. Fish on. Oh, there we go. Oh, not the biggest one in the shed, but Seems like I'm catching the small ones today, George. Yeah, yeah. First one on that swim bait, and now on the yeah. Senko. But you, you know what's nice about that is that it, it says this lake is regenerating these small mouths and that when they're smaller like that. Yeah. And they're healthy, so that's that's a that's a big plus, you know. Big plus. Get back in there. Of course, George knows what he's doing, definitely. We're going to go back and do some fishing after a short break, and we're going to tell you a lot about his charity that he runs, Fishing for a Cause. So stick around. 